What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube Draft here on the internet. 800 milligram Motrins. Those seem a little excessive. That's more than I'm. That's more than I'm looking for. Um. Fax him some. <laughs> oh, good times. Could take a Badlands. Could take an Entomb. A Braid. Hmm. Hmm. What up, kind buds? Always a pleasure. I just I kind of like Entomb here. I don't know how many reanimation spells are in this queue, but it's got to be enough to to warrant an Entomb, right? Morgan, what's going on, buddy? My favorite of the Morgans. I'm going to take Entomb. Let's build on Erebos. I'd rather build on Entomb. So I would assume green black is probably more likely than black or red for Entomb. Also, Karanos is just insane in the Legacy Cube. Let's get that right out of the way. I'm gonna take the Karanos. I think it's the strongest pick in this pack. Brainstorm. Tristan, I don't even think you play Magic the Gathering anymore, buddy. There's nothing in here I really care about. Like, there's nothing in here I want in the graveyard, and there's nothing in here uh, that helps me get things into or out of the graveyard. I'm just going to go with the Karanos, because that's a strong dude. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking I can't tell. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or if you're just flexing by saying that. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm not a big, I'm not a huge Brainstorm fan in this queue. I don't think there's a lot of uh, shuffling effects. Like, it's only good with, like, the one or two fetch lands you may get, but... I don't know. Maybe you know what you're talking about. I don't know. Looter is actually pretty good for the Entomb. Hmm. That's, this is all very fascinating. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's probably Looter. Because nothing else in this pack is really great and looter is good with the Karanos as well oh we can just discard all our creatures and then go living death can we live the living death dream or do we just take the drowned catacomb madash one 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 thank you so much for the resub welcome back keep up the amazing job don't tell me what to do you're not my dad and tomb is pretty much an honorary blue card that's fair Yeah, I want to take Drowned Catacomb. I like a Drowned Cat Kitty Cat Comb. Um, well, <laughs> I mean, a bunch of fair stuff here. We can take a Dissipate. It's probably the best card. I mean, Kaiga's good to put in the graveyard, I guess, maybe. Man, I wish I went for the... Hey Frank, first time catching a live stream. Can you tell us a bit about oh, what got you started with content creation? What tips did you give to someone who wanted to write articles or produce? Uh, that is... Wow, I can, I can definitely do that, but I don't know if I can do it while also picking for this draft and playing Matt. That's a that is a sizable that is a sizable question. That is a, a large question. Tin Man, have a good afternoon, buddy. I'm gonna take Kaiga. Whatever. We have an entomb, we have a looter. I think it's fine. Steam Vents is nice if we actually want to play this Karanos. Take your time. I'll be here the rest of the stream. All right. I like it. I like it. I'm going to take Steam Vents here. I like these lands. I like some good fixing. Ooh, Noxious Gear Hulk is a, a fine dude to put in the bin. Flame Tongue Kavu is just a good solid creature. Negate is just a great counterspell. I think it's one of these two. Hmm. Hmm. I, I think negate's probably main deckable in this format. Hmm. Hmm. 
I think it's a negate. I think Noxious Gearhulk is pretty replaceable. Uh, Black Cleave Cliffs? Sure. We're just going to go full on Grixis here. Abrade? I don't think it's Tempest Gin. Yeah, we're just going to take the Abrade. Alright, you're coming in too. Flame Slash, you're fine. Um, how I got started in content creation was I literally top aided a few PTQs. Um, I reached out to TCG Player. This was back in like 2009. And I was like, hey, this is who I am. This is what I've been doing. Um, I'd love to write some articles for you guys. And they were like, yeah, that sounds good. We'd love to have it. So I started writing articles for them. Eventually, Living Death came back. That's pretty cool. I'll probably take that and start building around it. Um, Shut up and take my money. One large question, Buck. <laughs> Guess. Um, at a certain point, I started doing video articles. I was like, hey, I'm going to do some videos. Is that cool? Do we have a way to support that? And they were like, yeah, sure, go for it. Um, and so I was one of the the very first TG player authors that, that did videos consistently, like every week. Um. And after that, uh, I've just offered a full-time position. And this was like back in 2011, I want to say. Oh, Kiki Jiki. That's pretty cool. Um, since then, I've been just making content pretty regularly for any number of sites and companies. Kiki Jiki seems good. You can even entomb a Kiki Jiki to get some shenanigans going on here. I really like Umazawa Jite. Yeah, we're going to take the Kiki Jiki. Yeah, I think Reflecting Pool is in insanely playable in, in three color decks. <sighs> I like a Jace Friends Prodigy. That's basically just uh, Luteril Core 2.0. If Dark Slick Shores comes back, that'd be cool. If Solemn Simulacrum comes back, that'd be cool. Definitely interested in Jace's Vryn's Prodigy, though. Ancestral Vision. That's also a card I'm interested in. Man. Imperial Recruiter also seems good. Arcane Artisan seems pretty good. We can discard... Um, we can exile Kaiga and then just put a Kaiga into play. I do like Vision. I think I like Vision more than Recruiter. I also really like Electrolyze. Plant. This is what plants crave. I think it's Ancestral and hope that Electrolyze comes back. Or Imperial Recruiter might even come back. To be fair. Archmage. This is just a disrespectful Archmage here. Actually, it's kind of it's kind of early still. I'm not going to say that. I will take it though, because it's great. I like a dissolve, and there's nothing really else in this pack that's super fascinating. The problem is if we don't get any of the other pieces for this, then it's just kind of like, I guess we copy a Glenlinch Archmage. Is it exile or sacrifice? Ooh, sacrifice is nice. No, it's not. That still doesn't come back. That's not how that works. <laughs> Never mind. Uh... Probably just Rabble Master. Actually, I like Sleight of Hand. Blood Crypt and Spire Bluff Canal. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Bloodcrift means we can search for a black if we get a fetch land, a red fetch land. Spire Bluff is just probably more on our colors. Yeah, we're going to take Spire Bluff Canal. Jace Architect of Thought, huh? Yeah, I'll take a Jace. Have you earned the right to be more than a little pedantic about a pronunciation? Uh, yeah, sure, if you'd like. I'll allow it. Spell Skate's pretty good if we have, if we're playing Kiki Jiki, or even if we're reanimating, right? Like, just put a Spell Skate into play and protect our threat. I don't think we need an Arc Trail when we have Flame Slash or Braid. The land did not come back. The hour came back. Hour of Devastation is interesting. Oh, 
Oh, so it's Kaga instead of sen- instead of Kaiga. Man, prove it. Show me the phonetic pronunciation of of Kaiga. Oh, Imperial Recruiter comes back. That's fantastic. Shivan Fire, Kiln Fiend. Yeah, I'll just take Shivan Fire. It's the poor man's burst lightning that can't actually hit the face. I don't know how much because of work, but just assume I'm shouting pick bolus when the time comes. <laughs> Morgan, appreciate it. I will definitely do that. It will be in the back of my mind. And considering how disrespectful people are in these cubes, I imagine it will happen. Char. Our sideboard is literally mono red cards and lands. Wow, and the the trend continues. Uh, this is not a Japanese card, Josh. This is an American card. It's made by a company called Wizards of the Coast in Seattle, Washington. In Renton, Washington. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. Our only, red, our only black cards are in Tomb and Living Death. That feels abandonable to me. However, then Morgan will yell at me for not taking Nicol Bolas, unfortunately. We can get a Bane Fire, a Legacy's Allure. I do like the fetch line, especially because we have Steam Vents. That's actually not terrible. Legacy's Allure has always uh, surprised me, though. I guess we can just take Flooded Strand. None of these other cards are super impressive. This is not an upheaval cube, interestingly enough. This is actually just a uh, like. There's not enough mana ramp in this in this cube. But that's true. If we get a rest, though, we can definitely take a Restoration Angel and, and combo that way as well. Uh, Kira is usually good, but uh, unfortunately, if you Kira with Kiki Juki out, it's very difficult to actually combo off. I don't actually think Chandra is outside of their own being played here. Same thing with Chandra's Phoenix. Both of these are actually okay. I think it might just be Merfolk Looter here. Although we do have two looters, and it's probably just ponder. Oh my god, we're looking for one Deceiver Exarch slash Pestermite slash Restoration Angel. Don't do this to me. Come on. Young Pyromancer, are you good in our deck? One, two, three, four. You might be actually very good in our deck. I'm just going to take this Young Pyromancer. I don't think it's 8 mana Eugene in our deck. I think it's actually... Actually, you go here. Oh, well, that's not what we want to do at all. And I think if you guys watch that, you will see that that is not what I did. Oh, Brightling is 3 mana. I always wondered why this was so good. All of the Lings, Aetherling, Torchling, Morphling... Um, not Aetherling, but uh, the green one. Thornling. They all cost 5. So I expected this to cost 5. And I was like, man, this is expensive for a 5 mana... 3-3, three, three. but apparently it's 3 mana, and that's really strong. Either way, I'm going to take the Frostite. Sulfur Falls is nice. Scarab God's also pretty nice. Man, I want either one of these lands, actually. Probably just Sulfur Falls, actually. We're not, we're not black. We have no incentive to be black so far, so... I'm just going to take the Sulphur Falls. Scarab God is great, but... Locust God. Ooh, that's exciting. I kind of just want to play Locust God, but I'm going to take this Pestermite because we have Kiki Jiki in our deck. Dang. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I hope this guy tables, actually. That would be sick. I just want to play Locust God, especially with, like, Ponder, Ancestral Vision. Like, all these, like, looter effects. You're like, oh, loot, draw a card, make a 1-1. One, one. Kill you. I guess you don't kill them, but you, you know how it goes. Chandra Flamecaller might actually be better than Kaiga. Kega. Kiga? Sensei. Kega? Kega. Kega. 
This pack is actually gas. We got Sick Dragon. Sick Dragon. Sick Dragon. Sick Dragon, I guess? Man, I'm real tempted to take the Tinkle We have Black Cliff Cliffs and Drowned Catacomb, but no way to search for either. Hmm. I think it's probably just Nicol Bolas here. And then we just cross our fingers. I'm going to take this Banefire. And then we just cross our fingers to hit a, uh, a some sort of... We have a lot of... like We have Ancestral Vision, Ponder, Sleight of Hand, Vrin's Prodigy, and Looter. Sure. Eh, Pyroclasm, not terrible. Show and tell, probably not getting played. I don't actually like Faithless Looting. Wow, alright. This is like infinite red cards. This is pretty ridiculous. Um, is Kai, is Kega better than Chandra? Hmm. Oh, we also have Reflecting Pool, which is just gas. All of our lands are playable if this Nicol Bolas makes the cut, and I'm pretty sure he does. We also have Hour of Devastation, which is pretty gas. I also like Chandra's Phoenix, Chandra Pyromancer here. Like, being able to keep this back... I do want to cut this, 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 or maybe this. Is Banefire just better than Missy Mortars? Maybe. We have a bunch of burn. <laughs> it's like an unreasonable amount of burn. Just play two damn colors. Wow, that's aggressive. Is there a reason that that's ag that aggressive? Seems like it's unnecessary, but... I mean, we need one black. We already have Black Cleave Cliffs. We have uh, Drawn Catacomb. Like, it doesn't seem super unreasonable to just splash Nicol Bolas. Especially because it's more fun. This deck does look very, very good. We'll take the Kai Gout. We'll keep Chandra. One more cut. I think I just like Banefire for the the finishing nature of it. All right, we're gonna add all the lands. Yeah. It's only game. Why do you have to be mad? All right. So five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11 black. I have 11 red sources. Seems fine. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm actually going to cut one. Add just one of these in case they have path or in case we want a, a land that comes into play untapped. I don't think it's great, but I think it's fine. Oh, there's only 16 lands, too. We actually didn't have to cut a red. All right. How many, how many blue sources do we have on turn one that we can actually play this off of? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But we do want to be able to sh hit triple red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven red. 
I think I actually want to err on the side of blue here. All right, I'm okay with this. Nailed it. I didn't even I don't even have to look at the rest of the hand. As long as I got an ancestral vision here, I'm good to go. Hmm. Fascinating. We can't get a steam vents. So we're likely just getting an island with this, which means... We'll just play this guy. Also, any black red land is fantastic. Any black any black red land, he says, when we have one in the deck. Any any black, any one of the one black cleave cliffs we have is just fantastic, because then we got a try land. Oh, that guy's got to go. So I'm going to play this tapped and Banefire you for one. And we're going to hit a Kiki Jiki. Chase Vryn's Prodigy. Uh, I'm going to discard Flood Strand because we have enough blue now. I'd really like to keep the reds. Bane Ember? Oh, wow. That's rude. <laughs> you wastelanded my... Alright, well, I got a million cards in the queue here. Oh, yeah, that's an easy discard. Ghost of the Sun, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. All right, so they hit their fourth land. God, they always have harmonized. It's pretty comical. We are going to get to go Pyromaster into Shoot Their Guy, which is great, though. I will draw 3,000 cards. Oh, that's a good draw. I don't think I actually want to discard anything, but I do want to activate this guy, so... Oh, that's good too. I'm gonna get rid of this. Play this. This is Sean of Let's Play Lands, right? You may play it? Yeah, that's fantastic. I actually don't want to dilute here because this is the age old question of whether to loot or not to loot, and I just don't. There's nothing I want to discard, and like, so if we hit a land, we're just. Discarding land, if we hit a spell, we're just going to have to discard a spell. Like, I just don't. I don't even care. I don't even care to think about the question, to be honest with you. Oh, wow. Lotus Cobra when I have Chandra out. Bold strategy. I'm not sure I can support that. Hmm. Very well, then. They have gifted 48 gift subs in this channel. That's ridiculous, dude.
that is not a reasonable amount of gift subs. Do I care about this guy or do I just want to play Karanos and hope to shoot it? Like we can bane fire for three. We can also just loot here and, and try to hit like a flame slash or something. Let's do that. Yeah, okay. I kind of feel like we would just want to get rid of this guy. Nah, we can make this guy negative and we can just Karanos here. Also, Karanos might be real close to being online. One, two, three, four, five. This guy doesn't count. That's interesting. His casting cost is two, but he doesn't count as having a pip. So one, two, three, four, five. So this guy, Frost Titan, next turn would actually turn uh, Karanos on, which is pretty sweet. Wow, a swamp. All right, well, this is this is not what we're planning for. So they can put four on the mentor, which makes it a four six. We're, we're, this is actually a lot of things we have to deal with. I mean, I guess if we hit a land, we can go Pestermite, Dissolve, whatever they play. Yeah, all four on the Monastery Mentor. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? All right, hit that, Jace. Draw another card. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. We can also Frost Titan this guy down if we hit another land. I mean, we might have to just bane fire this and frost titan. No, we can't do both. That's a little ambitious. I guess actually, if we if we play frost titan, we can actually attack for seven. We'd have to hit a land though, so I guess we can't do that. Untapped land. Why do you hate us, Magic? I feel like I really have to kill this guy, but I don't think I have a way to do it. Untapped land. Nailed it. We're good at this game. Uh, now we can Frost Titan keep this guy tapped down. Alright. I'm game. And then we get to keep Karanos too. Uh, tap you down forever. Forever? Ever? And you don't untap. Yep, that seems good. Nickel Bolas does turn the god on, yeah. Um, all we needed was two pips of red or blue, but I... Oh, I see. This is how you're going to be? Who's going to get it? That guy. Alright, we're just going to kill that guy. He can't kill Frost Titan or Karanos, but... Oh, that was nice. Um... So now we're just going to shoot you. Shoot 
shoot you again. Yeah, I think this game's over now. We just keep up Dissolve. Uh, tap you down, loot sixth. Well, this is just game, right? If we can find a way to get rid of one of these guys. So we just pester mine. Okay, this game's over. We're just attacking for 12. 13. We had to actually play this because otherwise they just uh, we tap one down, they block the Karanos. And they all die. I'd rather just end the game. Tap it, yes. I mean, if they have a slaughter pact in hand, that'd be pretty gas because then they can actually make a guy. That will be the end. All right, so you have a bunch of little dudes. Hmm. Pyroclasm seems pretty okay. It does kill our looter and our Jace. We can pro actually spell skate with the Virtuous Gear Hulk on board is pretty sick, right? Like you can just get the get the counters. Is that how that works? I'll take out the Chandra. She's a little expensive. Take out the Bane Fire, although it was very good. Do we see anything that was Manic Vandal worthy? Jitte. Yeah, I'll we'll bring in Vandal for the Jitte. I'd rather bring in Firebolt over Shivan Fire. I just think it's a better removal spell. Like you get I'd rather get two uses than have the chance to deal four. It is an instant. It's instant versus sorcery as well, but. All right, let's do this again. I will keep this hand. So if they go, actually if they go, uh. Monastery Mentor next turn, we can Firebolt it, which is nice. They did not. I think our fellows were definitely killing it. That I don't care about as much. I think we're probably just going to go Pyromancer here. And then we can grab our Steam Vents. More like Kiki Sneaky Breaky. Is that is that more like it? Is that? Hmm. Yep, that's actually what I was afraid of. <laughs> two, two. All right, well. That's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. 
that's not bad. What's an IRL Choco Taco stream? What does that even imply? Thank you. Recep, thank you so much for the nine months in a row. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Congrats on the sub, baby. Yo, who's the sugar daddy that hooked you boy up with a Frank sub? Uh, that would be uh, either Tanos or Josh VS. I'm not sure which one. They both went a little crazy. Why do they still have four cards in their hand? My god. Really? This is what you're gonna do? Good lord. This is why we keep the negate up. Oh, no Avacyn's Pilgrim. A bold strategy. <sighs> this doing two damage is really frustrating right now. This should be Searing Spear, I bet. I don't know. I mean, we'll kill the Gear Hulk, but not right this second. We can just wait. It's a, it's an instant. BFC, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Man, you guys are you guys are killing it. Lucky, 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 lucky. Whoa, that was the wrong mode. All right, we're going to scoop to that. That was supposed to kill the artifact. I don't know why it went to the stupid... What would we have drawn? That 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 was a shame scoop. That was just sad. I didn't feel like dealing with that at all. I'm going to bring the Searing Spear with a Firebolt. Three three Toughness seems more relevant. Actually, Mizzy Mortars is probably better than both of those. Yeah, we're bringing the Mizzy Mortars. Wow, that was so sad. You tried to double... My god. Why even? How are you going to try to kill my lands twice? You have no class. I will play first. No Ancestral? terrible. I'll keep the sand solely because we have looter and it should be pretty easy to find a red. Armageddon is so fun and well designed they made it twice. The card's so nice that they made it twice. 
Uh, we went 2-1 with the blue-white deck. It was pretty sweet. I enjoyed my, my time with it. I kind of just want to play Spellskite here. Because if we draw a red, Armageddon seems good. Not Armageddon, but uh, Pyroclasm seems good. Yeah, I'll, I'll risk it. Okay. Oh my god, please give me just a red source one time. Cringy. That's pretty brutal. Well, next time we have to try to hit it, and we have to just hope they don't have... Armageddon slash God, they have two two Armageddon's and a Virgil's Gear Hulk that I'm afraid of. Three cards that I'm very, very afraid of right now. Because we couldn't hit a red source, and that's pretty frustrating. Oh wow, it's getting better. Alright, top two cards. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. Also, if we get a red source, we have two red sources because of Reflecting Pool, so we can actually Flame Slash and Pyroclasm. Tapping one of their lands really didn't do anything. They would have six mana, so if we tapped one land, they can still both Armageddon. And we're playing a Pestermite into, uh, into a Pyroclasm. Okay, we just... I mean, this is if we don't have a red source here, we're just dead. I'm pretty sure. <sighs> Come on. All right, well now we can just keep Dissolve up. So I guess we're fine. <laughs> we're not fine. You have no lands in the graveyard? Yeah, that's fine. We are on this... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We are on this dissolve train for sure. Oh my god, Pyroclasm is so insanely good here if we can just hit a red source, I don't understand. If we counter the Knight, then they're free to play an Armageddon or Ravages of War after that, so that's pretty bad. Only got 11 sources of red in the deck. Oh, is it going to tap two untap wolves? That's pretty bad. I guess we're just going to let it happen. That's actually fine, though. I mean... If they want to play something, we can dissolve it.
like you do. I mean, it's still a one, two, three, four. We still get rid of six guys, so not terrible. And we do have Flame Slash to deal with either one of these. Likely this guy. And they have two cards in hand, and they'll only have two guys on board, so... Wasteland. <laughs> yep, should have saw that coming, actually. That's unfortunate. Not a big fan. Well, that's a nice card. You would... Interesting. Oh, we're good at this game. Of course, this guy survives. But they can't kill... Okay, so now we can just go, or we can keep up Dissolve. Ugh. Problem with keeping up Dissolve, I think we have to give them a turn. If we keep up Dissolve, this guy's going to get infinitely larger and we just have no way to deal with it. Yeah, not attacking with knight seems awkward there. I agree with you. We just have to fade a turn, uh, which is hard to do with this library, but... It's also a turn seven, and we have four, four lands in play. Gaia's Cradle, huh? Sure. Thank you. Caspi, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Oh, the old draw too. Seems good. Did they gain life in any way? Uh, I guess they took two and they, uh, yeah, that's a lot of cards. I mean, theoretically, if we draw a mountain Kiki Jiki, we can just win with Pestermite. That is an option. That's a good one. It's 14-14, though. I don't actually feel like we're that far behind, except for the fact that they have five cards in hand. Actually, if we can just Imperial Recruiter, we can just grab a Kiki-Jiki. Hmm. That's fascinating. I'm going to just block here. Five damage seems like a good amount. Well, it's not the color we wanted, but it's a land, I guess. We'll take it.
I'm just going to keep Pestermite Dissolve up. I'm going to Pestermite untap a land and then dissolve whatever they play. <sighs> they did not take any cards. Overgrown too, I'm sure. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have six mana right now. Six mana right now. Would you like to untap it? Yes. Make a guy. God, I hate keeping that because it gives them so many turns to actually deal with this. I guess it gives them one turn. I guess it just depends on if they have a thing or not. Is this game three or game two? I think this is game three where. Shut up and take my money. Caspi, five long overdue subscriber bucks. Greetings from Fargo everywhere, everyone. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That is great. I appreciate that. All right, here we go. Kikijiki in hand. They just have to have an answer to either Kikijiki or Splinter or Pestermite here, and then we can. How do you tell if your spices are too old? That's a good question. I don't know. I think you got to give them the give them the sniff. Well, they drew two cards, so they go to six. <sighs> Are we ahead if they if they do Armageddon? I don't know. We probably should have kept Steam Vents in hand, but I didn't want to take two. There's a lot going on. I think they're just getting... Like, if they have it, they just windmill slam it, right? Like, this is not. And then you have a 10 10 Knight of the Reliquary. Man, they're 100% like Armageddoning here. Oh, wait, we have Spellskite, though. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, that's not... Oh, but they can plus it. Oh, no. We should have kept Steam Vents in our hand. We made so many mistakes. That's not good for us. Depends on what they do, I guess.
Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that does not seem correct. Oh, that does not seem correct. Oh, you should have made me exile a card from my hand, sir. So they have access to one mana right now, right? That was a huge punt. It was not ideal. <laughs> oh, see, I gave them the opportunity to miss it because I always, I'll, like, I'll miss it. I'll miss it all the time. Yeah. Huge punt. I figured they might forget about Spell Sky because it has not been relevant for this entire match. Are they just going to make me go through it? What can you get? Do you have a land that can get rid of my... Okay, that's not it. Okay. Oh, all right. Good games. Good games. Woo. Woo. The sweats are real, man. Our deck seems great. I mean, when you don't get Armageddon and Ravages the Vore twice, it seems good. Thank you, kind internet opponent, for not like making me go through all that. I appreciate your kindness, your generosity. Oh my god, the gassiest hand I've ever seen. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'll keep it. This is all I've ever wanted. In Magic the Gathering. Oh, Spell Skite seems great. Um, I don't care about Jace. Put you on in the hand. That's nice. This might be the last draft. I'm not sure. I do wish I had a three drop here. Or another two drop I would take. I like a Jace Friends Prodigy. I'll accept that. I'll take a Dak Faden or something. All right, now I have a two drop. Oh yeah, now we're killing two lands with one stone. I 
Next time we get to go Nicol Bolas, followed by Glenn Langer with mana up. Oof. Oof. The heat. I'm actually not going to F6 here because we have Spell Sky in play, and I really don't want them to just be like, oh, kill this guy. And I'll be like, I got Spell Sky, bro. Don't kill my guy. That's rude. Don't be rude. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, they discarded a Dragon Lord Slimygar. That's something. Slimiligar. Sl slimmer Slimmerigar. None of these are real words. Oh, wow. What's happening right now? Okay. Oh, play one. Yep. Okay. Let's keep a basic island up for this. One, two, three, four, five. They only have five lands still. They're still not super, uh, super great shape here. That's a good one. I don't, I don't, I'm not super offended by this, but oh, crying out loud. On Thursdays, I just started my biggest neighborhood of the week, and today was no exception. It was 900 houses, and it took me just under two hours to complete and I sold 100. Nice! Way to go, buddy. 900 houses is a pretty ridiculous amount. Yep. I am not thrilled with Tatiova drawing them two cards and gaining them two life. I guess gaining them one life, technically speaking. Let's ponder here. I don't want any of these. Wow. Shuffle. Okay, thanks. One, two, three. Oh, we can flip this guy next turn, though, which is pretty gas. And any kind of uh, shenanigans you may have, we have a spell sky to deal with, so. Tatiova has basically drawn them an ancestral vision worth of cards. That is a lot. The time I go in there, it's like Mad Max Thunder Road. <laughs> oh, Matthew Ori. Huh. I actually want to counter that. Because if you have... What if you have... No, you probably have Flame Tongue Kavu in hand. I bet you have Flame Tongue Kavu. So you, you, put the, you put the song on this guy. And then you Flame Tongue Kavu the Nicol Bolas. That's my guess. I'm going to put you on Flame Tongue Kavu. Uh, <sighs> I think I'm still going to counter that too.
I'm going to take three here because I don't feel like blocking with Spellskite. Spellskite is clear victory. Let's deal you the four. Let's see what happens. Snowball steals 10 damage to target creature or planeswalker. Put target creature card from your grave. Yeah, a creature or planeswalker onto the battlefield under your control. This seems good, right? I'm no expert at Magic the Gathering. <sighs> oh, this is real nice. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be that guy. Hmm. No, no. No, no, you see. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> so they have three mana left? They could shell dock? No, they don't even have blue for shell dock aisle. GTFO, Jace. This isn't, a, this isn't party, Jace. You're not welcome here. Yeah, I don't care about that. Let's play a land to draw a card and gain a life. Well, we're not going to kill him, so we're just drawing two here. Uh, let's play a spell skite. Let's play this and kill that Jace. And I guess that's all you need to see. I guess Flip Nicol Bolas Chandra, Tatsi Ova Dragon, Lord Solemgar, and Spellskite is probably all you need. I guess we could kill their face, right? I didn't even realize they were at 8 life. I, I don't know. 8 life's a lot. I feel like we want Manic Vandal here. I don't think we care about Pyroclasm that much. Oh, we didn't miss Lethal. We didn't actually even declare attackers yet. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Our Devastation actually seems great because they have Dragon Lord, Dragon Lord Silumgar, Tatiova, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Uh, they seem to have a bunch of things that can die to to Hour of Devastation. It's from the Italian. Yeah, also, I just wanted to play with Bolas a little bit because it's a cool card. Come on. That's fine. <sighs> yeah, I didn't miss Lethal. I just took a look at it. I was just... I was just, uh... This hand's not great, but I'll keep it. I don't think it's terrible. Remember that time they were just like, hey, why don't you just play two colors? Well, because some cards are very good, you see. Head still hurts. Shut up, phone. That should have been a Jace Vryn's Prodigy, I think. That was an incorrect draw on my part. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, you're dead. You're actual dead. God, Banefire's literal job in my deck is just kill Rafelos, apparently. Don't mutagenic growth. All right. Pretty sure we start with Jace because Galenal Intro doesn't do anything anyway, so... Well, that's a dude, isn't it? That is a frustrating dude. Miss draw? What does that mean? I was walking into the living room the other day and the nun trailer was on and it scared the living bejesus out of me. I jumped so high I wasn't even ready. What's the nun trailer? I don't even know what that is. I haven't even seen that. So I have a feeling you're going to fight here and then attack with your little wolf boys. Little wolf boys. Yep. To the surprise of no one. Come on back. How persistent. Now we just have to attack you and kill it. They have four cards, though. That's a lot. We're having a good time. Black, red, blue, blue. Nikki B, the Ravager. <laughs> oh, man. Why have you forsaken me, Mystic Snake? That is unfortunate. Oh, we could have just killed Garrick. I'm so bad at this game. Oh, magic. Why? They're probably like, all right, cool. Now you can't win. Yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. I got so distracted by Mystic Snake forsaking me that I forsake myself. So much forsaking happening here. Oh, my God. So bad. Could have just countered the stupid. I could have killed the Garrick. He'd be dead right now. Now they're gonna make one ones forever. Well, that's what we're doing. That's for sure. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hong Kong from Bona Super Guy. One, two, three, four, five. Might as well keep Jace alive. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay less though. I wanna pay the the uh correct price rather than All right. Well, top deck mode has has been engaged. Both of Jace. <sighs> Could have had Garrick dead. That's pretty bad. Cringe city. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just see what we hit. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go to the next game. I can't really compete with this. Yep, yeah, that's not going to do it. All right. Paraclasm actually kills most of the things. Actually, Mizia Mortars does too. Where are the good cards? Come on, deck. How are you gonna act? Let's take out the spell skite. Where's the guy behind you? You mean Mike? He has a name. He's not here because he has his own life and his own job. I will keep this hand. Boom, 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 boom. They kept on five, which is nice. For us. <laughs> Show me your fellows one time. Okay. That was actually a good draw. Double blue is what we needed. Kill a thing, kill a thing, play a Jace. Or kill a thing, play a Jace, I guess, is more accurate. Do I care about whatever this is? I think I do. Oh boy, no lands. That's fascinating. Just taking this pile. I just want the quantity here. I don't think we're going to have a. I don't want a chance to have a dissolve up. Next turn we can play this, play Pestermite, tap down a land if we need to. Be in Searing Spear Guy. That's actually just fine. Wow, I do, that's a three for one. That's actually freaking great too. Holy smokes. 
Yeah, I feel like we're way ahead right now. We missed the land drop, but I still feel like we're way ahead with this Jace Friends Prodigy. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty nice. If we hit any land now, we can... Yep, all right, well... <laughs> yeah... Oh, all right. Well, I was just going to actually play Frost Titan and tap down their Sheldock to keep them off blue. But apparently we have Chandra and... Yep. All right. We just won. You guys know what happened. <sighs> it's one of those headaches that's, like, super mild, but it also feels like it, like... Affects like your back and your like your upper back and your neck, you know. It's pretty obnoxious. I will keep this hand all day. Oh, they went to five on the play? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I've taken like six regular strength ibuprofens. I don't have any extra strength. Um, I will take the black cleave cliffs, actually. That's perfect. Man. We'll play Cliffs so we can keep a Braid up, and then next turn we'll play Vents so we can still keep a Braid up, and then we'll play Ravager! Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. Hong Kong Fui on the board. Put both cards on the top, huh? Okay. I realized that I bought the regular strength. I used to take uh, the extra strength, which is like 500 milligrams, and the regular strength I have now are only 200. And I'm like, that's a sizable difference. Oh, I'm just playing this now, actually. Because this is the only turn it comes into play untapped. Is kind a thing? Kind buds? Like, I always thought it was a play on kind, and now I'm wondering if kind is a thing that I need to Google. I'm going to look it up right now. I hope they just tap out to play uh, Hell Rider. They didn't tap out to play anything. I think we might just play Galenalendra first. Because then we can at least protect the Nickel Bully. This is not Chaos Draft. As the title as the title clearly states, this is Legacy Cubums. Good sir. Oh, are you gonna twofer? No, just a one for? Okay. Oh. Cothams. McMothams. That's not a real thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so... So long as we can deal with this Coth. Yeah, you're going to get played. One, two, three. Nope, that ain't going to work. Let's not use a million blue, huh? Look at all those chicken scribers. And next time we can go Frosty or Karanos. Oh, we just win the game, I guess. That's fascinating. Hmm. 
All right, so they're clearly some sort of red burn nonsense. I'm gonna bring you in. I don't know if we're great against this this kind of thing. I'll bring you in. I'll take out the slight. I'll take out spell sky. seems great. Take out the Chandra. All right. Yeah, we can keep this hand. The Flooded Strand is uh, getting a Steam Vent. This is actually a pretty slow hand, but Banefire should be able to deal with any, any sort of... Oh, okay, well, that hand got better. Searing Spear me now. Nothing. This is very strange. So we just get to run out Jace next turn with no real... Interesting. Yeah, that's fine. Can I redirect the card draw? Can I change the target of the card draw to me? Spoiler alert, you can't do that. Or the ramp, I guess. Now I just want to keep that up because, boy, that seems better. Because now they're just going to go like Inferno Titan and we're going to be like, well, I don't have any answer for that thing. Yeah, I think we can just pass here. I don't I don't think we get I think the value we get from not passing here when they're going to have 6 mana is much lower than the value we'd get from uh is much higher than the value we get from just playing a Jace. care about this? I'm going to dissolve this because I'd rather keep Spellskite alive. I'm going to bottom you because I don't care. I, don't, I also don't have double uh, double red, so the last thing I want to do is get a little, little gentleman. I feel like if you had a 2 damage spell, you would have used it first, but if you do, that's still fine. And you didn't. Seems good. All right. Well, now we're just gonna frost. We're gonna we're gonna play Jace just so we can uh, frost Titan next turn. Hmm. I will choose pile two. I am not hurting for any of these lands. Too <laughs> you couldn't surveil that phoenix. Yeah, I'll put you in the graveyard instead. I think it's surveil, yeah. I think I think that's the mechanic you're talking about. I mean, realistically, if they go Karn here, it's pretty bad. Yeah, that's fine. Oh boy. Seven. Oh god, are they just gonna Ulamog here? That would be such gas. Um Yeah, that's obnoxious. 
I think we might just bane fire that actually. They do get to kill Jace though. Alright, everybody at Jace. Alright, well, Jace is dead. They have two cards, huh? Thank you. Zedre, thank you so much for the five month sub. Really appreciate it. Also, Kiki Jiki on Frost Titan is no joke. Pretty sure I have to bane fire Chandra here. Wish I had an exalted creature, then I can kill Koth too. Deal four damage to a creature. That's all you're doing, huh? Okay. Spellskite has uh, has done his job, I think. Take six. Play a Frost Titan, tap down, probably Solemn Simulacrum, because you can't really control what they... Well, I didn't mean for Spellskite to have Exalted, I just meant if there was a card on board to give him Exalted, so... Just slag storm. Wow. All right. That was pretty good. Five. We can actually Kiki Jiki and attack Koth here, which is kind of funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. We we're short of doing both though. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna glow under Archmage here. We can even get a block in. And also if we draw like Pestermite, we just kill it. Not in the Louis C.K. kind of way, though. Wow, that is gas. That's hilarious. I mean, might as well counter this, right? Because then it doesn't deal damage to us as well, so... Sure. They have one card in hand. Wow. That was impressive. However, if we didn't counter it, they'd still do the same thing. This guy would die, and then while it's on the stack, they get to... So we'd actually be at three. Oh, we're in combat. Oh, this is awesome. They didn't actually activate their cough. So I guess we just save that life. Pestermite. All right. <clears throat> that seems good. I think we did it. They have one card. We get to counter it. We're not scared of creatures. All right. Well, now I think we win, right?
And wow, three. Oh, this deck was gas. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both the links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate the support.